Dobar dan, dragi gledatelji. Dobrodošli u našu 20. emisiju. Danas smo ugostili učitelje iz Španjolske i Portugala, pa poslušamo što su nam rekli. Hello and welcome. Please, can you tell us where are you from and why are you here? Hello. Thank you for hosting us. We are we are, we are from Gran Canaria, okay, in the Canary Islands. Uh, they belong to Spain, okay. So we are four teachers that come here to learn new methodologies, to know new some things about your educative education system, okay. So we are Natalia. She's a French teacher. Maku. She's the school counselor. And Nati. Nati. She's a nursery education teacher, and that's me, Echele. Hi there, teachers from Portugal. Can you introduce yourself, please? Yes. I'm Mario. I'm an ICT teacher. I'm Lizia. I'm a geography teacher. Hello, everyone. I'm Isabel. I'm a geography teacher also. Um, what do you think about our school teachers and students? I think your school, your your teachers, the students are very nice indeed. You work hard to to have a great school and you have it. The students are so nice. You, they have a beautiful smile. Uh, the boys and the girls, they all know the Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> and the teachers are very nice too. How do you like our school? I love this school. I, it's very nice. It's very beautiful. Um, there are a lot of decoration. It's, it's perfect. And a lot of materials. And children. And children. And children. And children. Nice okay. children. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> uh, how many students do you have in your school? How many students? A thousand and four hundred, maybe, like that. We have students between three to fifteen years old. Okay. Is our school bigger than yours? Well, it's the same size. We have fewer students. We have around two hundred and fifty students, so practically the same. How much time do your students spend in school daily? Depends. 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 Can be uh, eight hours a day. Five, six hours. Medium. What are children like in Spain when you compare them with us? Children in Spain are very noisy. And we can live alone in class. Here you don't have this problem. Yes. Else? <laughs> uh, they move more. Yeah, they're more. Maybe they're more playful than us, than you. Okay, so. What activities do your students like the most? Well, our students like um, extra extracurricular activities. They like doing sports. They like um, to participate in the local festivities um, and they they like to 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 be uh, able to do these things and they love geography <laughs> <laughs> do Spanish students like school yes, yes. Mm, most of them <laughs> uh, what is the favorite subject of your students Geography, of course. <laughs> no, 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 no. Informatic. <laughs> <laughs> What are Spanish students the best at? They are so creative. Um, which subject is the most difficult for them? Mathematics? I math. 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 I think yeah. math. Uh, do Portugal students like to learn and explore? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes, they like to learn. 
and they like to learn in different activities not only in classrooms no but in labs outside in different activities okay can you tell us something about your education system okay so we it is divided into nursery education okay it starts in three years old and finishes in five years old it's not compulsory then they go to primary okay they stay from first grade up to sixth grade okay and then continue in high school up to 16 so compulsory education goes from 6 to 16 years old okay so then you have the opportunity to study a professional course in another high school or continue studying okay to we call this bachillerato we have two new grades and then you do an exam and you can access college do your students learn from books or from digital resources? Uh, both. 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 Because sometimes you use books when it's necessary and sometimes you use digital resources. Okay? What did you learn new in our school? Uh, for example, this project is new for, mm -hmm. for us. You're doing in projects. We're, we were really interested on them. Okay, how to develop them, how to start a new project. So you do lots of things, great things. Uh, do your students learn something about Croatia in school? Yes, in geography, we talk about Croatian and Croatian people, and Croatian like a, a country that belongs to Europe Union. Okay. And uh, Croatian as belongs to Ju Yugoslavia. Something about uh, history. Only a little. Uh, little. little. Yes. Uh, are the mobile phones allowed in your school? Yes. 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 They, are. they are allowed. But in the classes, just with the authorization of the teacher. In the playground, they can use the cell phone as they wish. It's free. But if they made something wrong, the main, the, the headmaster, the principal, catch the cell phone and calls to her parents. Okay? Uh, do your students have lunch in school? Do you have kitchen and cooks? Yes. It's very yes. different from here. Yes. We have a, a big canton. Uh, you can buy meal, juices. Uh, and uh, we have a bar to have small lunches, okay, in the morning, in the morning or in the afternoon, no, no. Yes. okay. But we have a big canteen where all our students have lunch. Is Croatia different than Portugal? Yes, it's very different. Very different. And first, we have the language. The language. Yes. It's very different. Culture. Yes. Are the, food? The, the food, the food, are by the seaside, the Atlantic Ocean, and it's very windy. It's very windy. Uh, Here you have snow. We you don't have snow. Have snow. Don't have snow. Uh, it's very, very different. What do you think about Croatia? Is it different than Spain? Yes, it's so yeah. cool. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like our food? Your food is delicious. Yeah. Everywhere we go. We do. Can you give some advice to our students and teachers? So you should keep on struggling with your dreams, to achieve your dreams, and don't forget the help of your students, of your classmates. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Um, what do you think about our country? It's wonderful. It's wonderful. In Christmas, oh, <laughs> it's so nice, so special. We've been in Zagreb, we love it, but we all, um, but we love your your village. Village. It's very nice. It's yeah, so it's very pretty. It's small, but it's it's uh, uh, lovely. We we felt. 
Oh, very, very good here. Yes, yes. specific and healthy. Uh, thank you very much for your time. You must visit us. You are invited. All, All of, you of you are invited to visit Portugal and to visit Isposend and our school. Yes. Okay? You are welcome. Thank you. Eto, toliko od nas, španjolaca i portugalaca. Zapratite nas na YouTube-u, hvala na gledanju. A do idućeg puta, budite dobri, lijepi i pametni.